Welcome to 2020, A Class Dismissed, a video series dedicated to sharing untold stories and experiences from the spread of COVID-19, told directly by the sources themselves, main high school seniors of the class of 2020. Meet Susie Strickland, a resident of Gardner and a senior at Gardner Area High School. Susie is an active athlete from tennis to alpine ski racing to a long career in dancing, and she'll be heading to the University of New Hampshire in the fall to study engineering. So I think you're the, by the looks of it, you're the first student that I've talked to that's actually sitting outside uh, for the conversation. <laughs> uh, and are you at home right now? Yeah, I'm at home right now. Nice. Well, I don't blame you. Get out and enjoy the nice weather while you do this. <laughs> home for you is Gardner, correct? Yes, it is. Can you tell me a bit about your hometown, the area, and how things are going right now in regards to the virus? Um, yeah, so Gardner is a pretty close-knit community. We all know each other, and we've really been collectively helping each other through this, which I find really nice, and the whole community has really reached out to the seniors and has been doing a lot and really trying through all of this. So, what kind of like outreach has there been from the community for you guys as a whole as a class of 2020? Um, there's signs everywhere. Everywhere yeah. you look, there's like there's senior signs. Like every senior got two or more signs to put on their lawn, and then there's like different like inspirational quotes. If you look, like there's some signs that are just like smile or like keep positive. So they've been doing a lot of things like that. And some of the teachers have actually like drove by the students' houses and wished them congratulations and gave them some gifts, which was really nice. Oh, neat. Hmm. So those signs that say smile and stay positive, uh, have, have you found that through this whole experience you've been able to do this or has this been like a pretty challenging thing to overcome for the end of your senior year? Well, this has definitely been a very challenging thing for me to overcome. I'm definitely missing out on a lot of things and just like finishing a lot of things that I wish I could have. So take me through that list. What, what are you missing out on? Um, I'm missing out on my last season of tennis. I was first doubles for our tennis team, so I didn't get that last season. And then I'm also missing out on my last dance recital. I've been dancing for 15 years. So oh that's my gosh. Really sad, yeah. That's how I ended like my 15 years of dance, is just by clicking that end meeting for Zoom, which was really surreal. So, so tell me about that. How did you, how did that all come to a close? Yeah, so I took my last dance class outside on my deck with my best friend who's also a senior and we were socially distanced, we were many feet apart, but we just wanted to take it together so we wouldn't take our last dance class ever in the basement by ourselves because that would be really depressing. Yeah. Yeah, we took it outside, it was beastly hot out. <laughs> yeah, we showed our teachers a uh, video we made to like just commend our accomplishments and to say thank you and a lot of people were crying it was pretty emotional and then I just clicked end meeting and that was it it was really weird it is it yeah it's all of a sudden like having then it's just gone and you're like well yeah that's that <laughs> And, and I can only imagine, I mean, my program was eight months, but to have 15 years of practice and dedication to something be boiled down to one last, you know, click of a button, that's... Yeah, it was very surreal. That's intense. Did it take a while for, for that to set in? Um, I mean, because that is so much to like, I'm sure in your head, it's sort of a domino effect of like, oh, wait, there's this, there's this, there's this. Um, so mm -hmm. did it take a while for everything to set in as like it's done or was it a pretty immediate all at once realization that like your senior year had really kind of come to a halt? Yeah, well, 
It definitely came to a halt then. It also came to a halt a lot before then. I actually broke my leg on January 6th. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this has been a really rough year for me. So I knew that I wouldn't be able to do my sports at like the capacity that I could have, but it's taken a while to realize that I just won't be able to do them again, period. So I, I'd, I'd love to hear about graduation and what plans are in place for graduation. Yeah, so my school has put a ton of effort into graduation, which I really appreciate. We're having an in-person graduation at the Civic Center, which is like a big municipal building, and it's going to be outside, and we're all going to be in the parking lot, and then we're going to go up to the stage, and I think groups of eight, and walk across the stage outside and then go back to our cars and the next group's gonna come out. It's gonna take a very long time, but at least we get an in-person graduation, which is really nice. If you look at everything that you've been through so far, I'd be curious to know if you've been able to find any uh, silver linings to this. Um, Certainly there's been plenty of negatives, but have you been able to find any positives or Has there been any kind of lesson that you've learned that maybe you weren't really expecting to get out of it? I feel like I've really learned about the world around me and become a lot more aware through all of this. I feel like before I was really living in my own little bubble and didn't really realize what was happening around me, but I've become like a lot more aware of different issues like politics and Oh wow. That. Yeah, I think it's been a good growing up experience. How is that affecting you going forward? Like, What things do you plan to start doing differently based on that new perspective? Like just listening to people around you and just being open to everything and absorbing everyone else's opinion and really just, I don't know, including them in your thought process, even if you don't necessarily think they're right. Have you found amongst your classmates that, like, there were a lot of differing opinions about this whole thing and, like, even some conflicting opinions? Definitely, yeah. Um, There were a lot of my classmates that never quarantined, that just always went out, and then there's a lot of my classmates who've been in quarantine since the very beginning, and I'm one of the people who've pretty much been in quarantine since the very beginning, since my dad's a doctor. So can't really put him at risk. So it's been it's been tough, but yeah. What's that been like to have a, a family member in the you know medical field right now? How has that been? It's been very tough. At first, it was very scary because we didn't know how deadly this virus was or how much it was going to affect everything. But now it's just kind of a lifestyle change. He comes in for work every day and has to change in the garage and sanitize everything and take a shower right when he comes in. And I don't know, there's been a lot of changes and we can't really see many people and be exposed to many people because if he gets sick, there's a lot at stake. What would you say to people uh, regarding frontline workers, like like your father, um, just in, in what they're going through? Um, just to really respect them, because they're really trying their best and putting a lot at stake, not only themselves, but their whole families. And their families are also really trying to protect them and just to respect everyone in the family and to not judge them if they can't do a lot of things right now because they're trying to do the right thing. And I guess kind of on that same note, maybe I already know the answer to this, but (laughs) if you could give a a shout out to anyone regarding this whole experience, who would you want to give a shout out to? Um, Yeah, definitely my dad for doing all that he does and healthcare workers, but also all the teachers. 
out there because they really had to adapt very quickly. And especially my calculus teacher, we started work um, the week that we were off. So we didn't miss a single week of schoolwork. We really just got right back into it. She adapted over two days. And it was really amazing to just see because I feel like when you're learning to be a teacher, you don't exactly, you're not taught to do this. Yeah, I don't think anyone learned this in their college undergrad. <laughs> yeah, but it was really interesting to see how they adapted and worked around it. That's awesome. Well, I, I really appreciate your time, Susie, and sorry that you've had this serious injury compounded on top of the end of your senior year, but wishing you a speedy recovery to the end here and uh, best of luck with the end of your year and starting at UNH in the fall. Thank you very much.